Welcome back, everybody. It is once again Shield Maiden SA, and I am here to bring you another fun um, collection and a fun look with involving the Glam Light Ice Cream Collection. Um, now, this is definitely, it's unfortunately not a new collection. Um, it was one that, unfortunately, due to various circumstances, I ordered and somehow never opened. And so everything is still brand new and it was literally sitting in a box that got like shoved off to the side because um, I believe at the time when I ordered it, I'd been sent out of town for work. So it actually came in while I was gone. Um, but we have it. It's still brand new in its packaging. And so we're going to go ahead and we are going to create, I decided maybe just some sort of soft glam look with it today. That way you can kind of see what it is, play with the colors a little bit um, and go from there. Um, now, of course, this collection was voted on by the folks that are following me over on TikTok. Um, I asked them about three different collections that I found that I knew I hadn't unboxed and shown you guys yet. And this was the one that got the most votes. So that's the one we're doing this week. If you are not already subscribed and following me and you like makeup videos, you like Dungeons and Dragons, you like other various geeky stuff, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as make sure to get that notification bell rung. That way, every time I go live and have new content, you're automatically notified. So like I said, as you can see, we have this lovely box over here. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, these are definitely, I, I feel really bad because I was so excited for this collection when it came out. Um, I think it was just the circumstances of everything for a while. And Chris, yeah, some brushes, some goodies here that I'm going to be using throughout the tutorial. And I'll talk to you about that. Um, I have already, like I said, as you can tell, I'm sure I've already foundation, contoured, drawn in my brows. Um, you know, I've done several videos where I do that all in the video. So definitely, if that's something you guys want to see, comment down below and tell me. Um, I am more than willing to kind of include in my content what it is that you, the fans, want to see from me. So always kind of bear that in mind that, yeah, I'm never going to think that anything is, I'm never going to not take it into consideration. If people want to see how I apply my foundation and my contour and all that, I'll do it. Sure, why not? Um, you know, it's all just kind of part of that experience. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack open the Glamlight Ice Cream Collection. So this was a super cute collection because it came in a box that looks like an ice cream truck. Yes, this looks super shiny because like I said, it is brand new. It is still in, it is in its shrink wrap, folks. I had not even busted out the shrink wrap. So that tells you that obviously I've been holding on to this for a bit. Um... Not intentionally. Like I said, it, it purely, unfortunately, just kind of got lost in the shuffle of things when it came in. And I never ended up reviewing it, which I feel kind of bad for because I love the Glamlight products. They are really high quality products and they're really affordable. So if maybe makeup is something you're new to and or you want makeup that's really kind of fun, Glamlight has so many products that meet that. Um... Their very first palette was the pizza palette. And yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here struggling with the plastic. Don't mind me. Um, was the pizza palette was actually a palette, which when you opened it up, the colors were on like what looked like pizza slices. And it came in a box that looked like a pizza delivery box. So with this collection here, when you open up this lovely little ice cream truck, you then have this fun, the packaging just continues to be so much fun. Look, you have sprinkles on your ice cream cone and they move. And so that you can see it a little better, let's go ahead and get her on out of here. And we will just set this to the side for right now. And I know you guys can see my box and normally you can't, but just the box is really tall. So I'm sure you guys are going to have to see the box for a little bit. As I start taking things out, though, I'll move the box so you don't have to look at it anymore. So yeah, look at this. It's this nice kind of cloud. It's got this great, um, you know, ice cream shape with the ice cream sprinkles. So I think that is the detailing on their packaging is just so great. Um, which is part of kind of what kind of, it sells the whole experience with the Glam Light collections. When you open this up here, you are going to see, and oh, there went my little plastic filter. This is full of all kinds of fun. Shimmers, pastels, brights. Um, I think I'm probably going to go with some sort of kind of soft glam look, just looking at like the shades that are in the palette. And of course, I've seen other videos done with this palette as well. So, I mean, it's... I don't want to say that the palette is completely new to me because it's I'm familiar with the products in it. Um, I'm just kind of trying to decide what route I want to go. 
And you know, with all of these great pastels, I really, I think I figured it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig on into this girl. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start here with this matte shade up here called Black Cherry. And for that, um, first things first, we're going to get my hair out of my face, right? Um, let's get the headband, get the hair out of the face. That way it's just one less thing for us to worry about while we're trying to get everything applied. Um, now with this, because I am going to need to blend it out, I'm not going to worry about putting down um, necessarily an eyeshadow primer just because I am going to need to blend, do a lot of blending with it. So we're not going to do dig in with our primer quite yet. Um, so let me go ahead and get Black Cherry. I have this, um, the Morphe Jeffree Star brush in JS10. This is a really great brush if you are trying to get something into a crease or kind of create a line with that to kind of create that whole fantasy and that whole vibe. Um, I am going to use the mirror that's on here just because it's easier to do that for me. But I'm trying to keep it out of the way so that way you guys can still see what I'm doing while I am applying this. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go in and we're just going to kind of start here a little bit about three quarters of the way in on the crease and just drag it. I'm not super worried about how this line is. If it's a little bit chunky, that's fine. And if it's a little bit jagged, it's fine because we are going to blend the snot out of this thing. Um, I did go ahead and just add a little bit of a tail here. Um, and you will see why when I start blending this out. We're then just going to go back into Black Cherry. Right here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other lid. Like I said, about three quarters of the way into the crease. Start by dragging. If you run into tension, just go and grab it from the other corner. Um, and a lot of people, like, they're kind of worried about putting things in their crease for that very reason. They're like, hey, every time I try and use my crease, um, I get, like, this bumpiness or this unevenness. Um, you can always clean that up later with a, um, concealer. And, oh, I just went super chunky, so we're gonna have to go add some more over here. That's fine. We can totally add. We are totally cool with that. Um. But with that, if, if you ever run into that kind of drag, just come in from the other side. And you can usually kind of, um, you may not get as much drag from one side as you do from the other. Let me see here. How even are we? Oh, we're, we're just, this one seems to get a touch more. Maybe just a little more. And then what I'm going to do here is I am just going to blend up. Um, I don't necessarily think I need to add anything else above it. I just kind of want to blend it just to kind of give it so it's a little less sharp. Um, and we'll just use, this is a brush from Real Techniques. Um, just an eye brush. I just like the ombre color of the, the handle. Um, I am not going to lie. I am not necessarily brand loyal to any brush, co any one br company when it comes to brushes. Um, the Morphe brushes I've always had really good luck with, um, but I do try other brushes all the time just because of the fact that you never know what you're going to find that you're going to like, right? And so as you can see, that's kind of fading out. It's giving that like softer edge along the top and kind of blending it into kind of a neat shade there. Um, but it's still giving us that dramatic line there, which is what we really want to keep. So we're going to go do the same thing on the other side. And sometimes you kind of have to go in circles a little bit just to kind of pull some of that color back up. Um, and just kind of work with it. Now with this one, as you can see here, I did go a little bit more out. So I am going to end up adding just a little bit more here with the flat brush that I started with. That's why you always kind of keep your brushes handy. Um, because sometimes you need to go touch something up or sometimes you need to add a little more. Um, and there is nothing wrong with that. You can add and blend and subtract as much as you need, everybody. Just add just a touch more there without going too crazy. But that does mean I'm going to need to blend just a little bit more here, and that's completely okay with me. And so with this, um, you'll see what I'm going to do here in a minute, but um, you'll see that pastels, I've always been kind of worried about pastels, 
So I did kind of go start digging through Pinterest to try and find like some cool like ways to still make a pastel eyeshadow stand out. And that is kind of what this one does here for us. Um, or at least what I'm doing here right now is kind of what is, is one of the ways that you can make that stand out if you happen to be fair complected like I am and struggle with pastels maintaining being visible um, when you use them. Um, so we're just going to set that blending brush down there for just a minute here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dig in with a few colors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start here with this mango, which is this nice yellow here down at the bottom. And we're going to start in the inner corner and work our way out. Um, I usually would do this the other way around, but I, I decided I'm going to do it a little different to this time. Why not, right? Um, oh, hold on. Before we do this, before we get too far into that, I need to add primer for this. Um, adding the eyeshadow primer when I add these pastels is going to help them basically grip my eyelid better. So give me just one second here. And mind you, I put it right on my eye because I am the only person who is using my eyeshadow primer. If you are sharing your primer, if you are doing this on other people, um, use a product, use a brush, use a Q-tip. Um, but because this is me and me only, and it's always me and me only, um, that's why I am okay with let me just go and stick it on my eyelid and go from there. Um, now the eyeshadow primer I'm using is from NARS. Um, I like this because it's basically instantly dry. As soon as you put it on, it's dry. You can start applying your product right over the top of it and you're good to go. There's no waiting or anything of that nature. Um, so I, let me grab some more of that yellow in the shade Mango. And I'm just going to pack it into this little little piece right here because we're going to add a few other colors here. We're going to have some fun with this, right? Just packing that color in. Just making sure that it's there. All right, so now that we have that yellow in, I'm going to go ahead and grab, hmm, I think I'm going to use this, hmm, oh, the choice is here. I'm going to go ahead and grab Cookie Monster. It's a little bit of a periwinkle blue, and we're going to go in with that next. And we're just going to put that in a little ways, about halfway over. And then what we're going to do, we're just kind of going to blend it a little bit. So what's going to end up happening here, we're going to go back and grab our yellow brush, because we are going to need a little more yellow. Without even tapping into the green, we're going to end up blending and getting a small section of green, like a pastel green with this, into that blue. And I'm just going to get a little bit closer so you can see here how that's kind of blending there. And you're getting a little bit of that green, a little bit of that blue without actually having to add a green shade. And sometimes you have to kind of build it when you, especially when you're working with pastels, sometimes you do have to kind of go in and kind of build that color up.
and kind of smooth it out while you're building. But it does give you, as you can see, that kind of nice ombre effect. And we are going to go in and touch that up a little bit here in a bit. Um, because I have, the nice thing is I have hooded, I have slightly set back eyes. So you don't necessarily see all the way in that crease, but you still do want to make sure you have that really solid line there. And I think we got enough, about equal amounts of green there. Maybe just a little bit more over here. And just touch up my yellow to make sure it's good and bright in that corner. And then from there, I think we're just gonna add a little bit of this. It's called um, Honey Lavender. It's this nice lavender shade here, right here, really like nice pale purple, um, and just kind of blend it out into this here. And yeah, we can use this brush for that. Um, once again, the Real Techniques brush. Um, do these have numbers on them? I've never looked. No. Oh yeah. 024. I mean 042. Yeah, 042. Meaning of life brush. Um, and so we're just going to go in here, get that honey lavender. I'm going to tap because I grabbed a little bit much. And this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually swipe from here in um, because I want more of the concentrated color on the outside because I don't want it to overtake that blue too much. There we go. And you can see I did just kind of extend it out just a little bit here along that pink because we're going to darken that back up here. Um, in just a couple minutes. And we're going to go in. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Start out here at the corner and kind of bring it in. Because this one we almost, we don't really want to blend it into the, the blue too much. Because we've already taken a lot of that blue out with the blending of the green. So just enough there to see that it's there on the corner without taking away from the blue. All right. And so from there, like I said, one of the things, what did I mention we are going to do? I mentioned we are going to go back and we are going to just re-strengthen the black cherry line. just so that it is a little more dominant right there as at the crease. Like I said, just making sure we still have, we still have that, that nice blend out. But we do still just want to make sure that it does stay a little more dominant near that crease. And I am just going to go ahead and add just a little bit more here. We're probably going to blend out here in just a minute. Just a little bit more of that. I just felt like it was a little too faded. So we're just going to do this. And that's another reason why I really do love Glam Light products is they are so blendable. Like, like if I think I've gone too crazy... Um, I can always kind of reel it in with blending it out. Um, not all products do you get that kind of grace with. I'll be completely honest. Um, some of them, like if you go crazy, like that's it. If you go ham, there's no turning back. All right. Um, now for that, I am going to add just a little bit here in the corner. Um, I'm going to go in with just a touch of this. I think I'm just going to go with a touch of this French vanilla up here. I know it's white. I know it's going to really make that pop pop. Actually, you know, actually, I lied. We're going to go in with lemon. Um, since we've got yellow in the corner already, let's go ahead and go in with lemon just to kind of highlight that corner. 
a little bit better. Um, I think that's just going to give us a really nice look. And like I said, I'm just using a really teeny tiny brush. This one, um, Eco Tools. And this is actually a um, smudging brush. But that does make it really good for tiny corners like this because it, it's designed to get in there. And a little more lemon. And I'm just going to bring it a little bit more underneath the eye, just for just a brightening effect. Just kind of look kind of cool when you do that sometimes, so. So you can see there, like, you can get that real dominant, like, corner look. So I'm definitely digging that. Um, now from here, I'm actually not going to add any liner. Um, just because I think that it's going to de actually detract in this case. Um, and I didn't bring any, I don't have any of my water activated here in the room with me. Um, otherwise, I might have considered maybe going in with like my blue water activated just to kind of, or my purple water activated just to kind of clean that line a little. Um, but I'm just going to add some mascara. Um, I'm going to add the, this is the Jeffree Star brown mascara. We all know the name. I don't think y'all need me to tell you the name of this one again. Um, we're all familiar with it, right? And um, I try not to get flagged by YouTube for language. Um <laughs> So if, if you're not familiar, you can go to the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website and look it up and you'll see um, why I'm concerned about getting flagged for using the name. Because um, sometimes YouTube's kind of picky about that. But we're going to add this on because it is, it is a buildable mascara, which is one of the things I do love about it. And just because we're going in pastels, I didn't want to go anything too drastic. Um, I felt black would have just been a little much. So I'm using the brown. And count over to the other eye. All right, there we go. Um, now, this collection did come with lashes. Um, I unfortunately am suffering from pretty bad allergies right now, so I'm going to skip on the lashes, but we're going to go ahead and look at them because they are they are amazing. The packaging is on point. Like I said, that's that's one thing I love with Glenlight. Like, they pick a theme and they run with it. Like, there is no holding back. Um, it was shipped, this is the bubble wrap it was shipped in. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the... Um, ice cream cookie sandwich lashes. I mean, look at that. Ah, as they hopped out of the container. Let me put that back in there so you can get a better look at that. Yeah, let's try this again. And the cookie sandwich lashes, everybody. Hey. Um, these are definitely full glam, which I definitely dig that. I think you guys have seen me in lashes often enough. You know that I tend to go kind of big when I put my lashes on. Um, and so, hey, I'm happy about that. The next one we're going to go with is the chocolate taco. Um, so, some of you may have these in your area, some of them may not. Um, they are usually an ice cream sandwich item or an ice cream-ish item. And look at that. Beautiful, full lashes. They will cover you corner to corner. Um, and I love that. These ones are actually kind of multi-layered. I want to get the cups so you can see that these are definitely a more of a full glam look. Um, just because they are that multi-layer lash look. Then last but not least ice cream sandwich lashes. Um, these, these girls, these, these are drama right here. Like you can see that they're long, they're multidimensional. Um, definitely going to reach corner to corner. These are a girl. These, this, these are a drama girl. So like, you know, this is like every day. This is, we want a little more glam. This is diva. Um, so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to play with those. And I will post some pictures of those when I do get around to playing with them. Like I said, just Unfortunately, my eyes are bugging me a little bit today, so I don't want to add things like glue. Like, because these are vegan products, 
the eyeshadows, the mascaras, those things aren't going to bother my eyes if I'm having a bad allergy day. Um, but adding things like glues that have um, fumes and things of that nature can kind of make for an unpleasant day. Next, we are going to, let me take a look here. We, oh, we have glosses. We have glosses for days. So, oh, like, like, oh, I don't even know where to start here. So we have these really cute ice cream cone glosses in caramel, strawberry, and cookies and cream. I'm not sure if we're going to use these or not, but let's see. Let's take a look, shall we? We will start with caramel since it was busting at the seams. Um, so this is a nice shade. It's a, it's a very nice, um, neutral shade. Now, the one thing that I do love about their glosses is a lot of them that come in either a triangle or a square have a mirror on the back. So you can always use that for touch-ups and whatnot. We will go ahead and swatch her though. Yeah, this is like a nice neutral, um, almost like terracotta color. Um, and that one, like I said, is the Caramel Ice Cream Sundae. The next shade we will swatch will be Strawberry. And like I said, these packages are just so cute. I mean, who doesn't love ice cream, right? Come on, you can do it. There we go. Same packaging. This is more of a mauve tone. Um, so I do like the fact that these are definitely wearable for every day. Um, just swatch that above this. As you can see, very mauve tone. Um, very pale. Are these scented? No. Okay. And last but not least, let's dig into cookies and cream before I show you the other set of glosses. And then you'll see why, like, oh, I can see why that's a hard choice. Oh, so I like this. I would like this as, like, a topper, maybe. Um, it's basically just a glitter. We'll go ahead and swatch her, though. That way you can see the, the, the level of shimmer you are going to get from the cookies and cream ice cream sundae. Oh, no, this one does have, like, almost like a vanilla or like creme brulee flake scent to it so that's kind of neat so you see here you you can't see it really well but you can see you're getting a little bit of that shimmer there off the top um so yeah i may use her as a topper but the others i think the others are glosses too so i may not end up using a topper um for this one but maybe if i was using like a different lipstick with the collection then i might go ahead and use that as a topper now these were other items that came with it that were just so absolutely adorable um these are the lippy bundle the lip sets you have um like i said this cute little pink popsicle oh yeah and it's, it's more glosses so um and let me see what these shade names are we'll start in the middle this is strawberry shortcake and since we're with, since we're already swatching, let's just do it. We're, we're just going to do it. We're already swatching. We've already been swatched. So we're just going to keep swatching. So this is like, Strawberry Shortcake's a nice kind of coral vibe. So like, you know, I'm, I can, I can be okay with her. The next shade we're going to swatch is Berrylicious. This may be the color we wear. Let, let me see here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is this is our girl for today. Yeah. Nope, no fragrance. Okay, just wanted to check. So we're going to set her over here for a minute while we finish swatching these. Just in case we see one that we like better, but I don't think we're going to top that. I really don't. I don't think we're going to top our girl Berrylicious. Um, 
the third one in this collection is called Strawberry Sherbert. Um, this is a glimmery, um, looks maybe color shifting. So let's see here. Oh no, this is just more of a glossy. So as you can see here, Strawberry Shortcake and Berrylicious are more of a um, solid lip gloss, where this is more of a transparent shimmer. Um, so I'm popping these two back into their container. And like I said, it's super cute. It looks, I mean, it, it looks like a popsicle, right? Like, hello. Um, the next one we have is the chocolate popsicle lip set. This slides off to reveal three neutral shades. We're going to swatch them, but I don't think they're going to beat out our Girl Berry Licious for this particular look. Just because, I mean, if we've gone big already, like, why should we back down? Like, why? Yeah, no. Let's, let's just have some fun. So this is chocolate. Um, I'm kind of running out of hand space here, so we'll just start over here. Yeah, that's, that, that's kind of what it looks like when I melt chocolate on myself. Yeah. Oh, it smells like chocolate, too. So that's kind of fun. Our next shade is chocolate chip. And this is, looks just like a slightly lighter neutral shade. So let me take a look here. Oh, no, you could ombre chocolate chip and chocolate, and that would look really kind of neat. Maybe, although they're glosses, so they're not liquid lips, so it may not work as well. I don't know. I may check, try and check back with you later. Um, the third one we have is Sweet Fudge. And so this is very similar to in the pink one. We had um, that other color shifting in the pink. Um, we have this this most more of a glossy with some shimmer. Oh, yeah, this one's a little bit darker. Um, so you may be able to see it here. Let's see here. Now that I'm out of back of my hand, but that's okay because we're out of products to, to swatch. So you can see here it does have a little bit more tint than this one here, and it's more of a neutral shade. Um, but I am definitely thinking that Berrylicious is going to be the way we are going to go on this one. So let me just get these back in their packaging. That way everything stays nice and contained. Like, these might be fun to play with, even with the new um, Hershey palette that just came out. Um, I have ordered it, but my box, my my collection has not arrived yet. So just kind of stay tuned, because that should be coming up in the next few weeks. Um, I think they said it could potentially take four to six weeks for the packet, for the shipment to arrive. Um, but I think that was the same thing that happened with this one, um, was that it did just have some other, it took a little longer to ship. So we're going to go in here with Berrylicious, and I am just going to use the mirror on here just to make sure that I'm not getting crazy. Oh, I'm a fan of this color. Overline just a little bit. All right, so we've got that. So the one thing, though, that the collection did not come with, and I thought it did, um, I think I might have mixed it up with the Happy Hour collection. Um, I, for some reason, thought this one had a highlighter that came, and blush that came with it. But since it doesn't, that's fine. We are just going to go in with our Heartbreaker palette here and just add a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlight um, just to kind of tie it all together. Um, so I'm going to go in here with Murderous Fun. I'm just gonna dab, dab, dab. Do it here on your cheeks. 
Your little cheeks. And listen, I have a really round face, so for me to find out exactly where my blush should go, I always just smile. And right down above it. Right there. Um, but like I said, that's because I have a very round face. Um, that doesn't work for everyone, but it, it is a relatively reasonable judge of where it should be. Um, but of course, you can also, if you're someone who really likes blush and you like that really blushy, rosy tone, there's no reason you can't use more than that. I'm going to go in here with Single Forever and just kind of highlight. And I feel like I need something here on my brow, but for that, I'm going to go ahead and dig back into the eyeshadow palette itself because, 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 because I think we have something that will just work in there just a little bit better than me just using just a plain highlighter. Um, actually, yeah, I think I'm going to go in with Rainbow Sherbert, this shade right here, and just kind of just add just a touch of highlight with that. I don't like the way I'm getting that that way, so I'm just gonna grab it with my finger. How dark is that? No, that's not very dark. Okay, cool. So yeah, just add a little highlight here. As you see, it does have just a bit of that pink hue to it. Um, but since we've already kind of got that going on with this anyway, we're just going to roll with it. And so, folks, that is the Glamlight Ice Cream Collection. Let me know what you thought. Um, you know, is this a little too bright for you? Is it too much pastel for you? Um, is it just not your jam? Like, you know, not everything's going to be great for everybody. But, you know, hey, if you, you've got some feedback, go ahead and post it down there in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And keep in mind, like I said, if you haven't already, feel free to go ahead and check out some of my other videos that I did. Um, I used the another Glam Light collection the other day, and I'm trying to think which one it was. It was in a video. Oh, I feel so bad that I'm blanking on it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and post that video up here since I don't remember which one it was, but you'll definitely see um, what I did with that. Um, and like I said, it was another Glam Light palette. Um, because I just happen to have a few of those that I need to go through. And like I said, this time of year, they are so great. Oh, Icy. That's what it was. Yeah, the Icy video. So yeah, check that up. It's going to be up here. Um, or I may just tag it at the end. So just keep an eye out for that video to come up too. Um, and if you haven't, like I said, yeah, go check it out. I used that for Valentine's Day because it had that really amazing red palette. Um, and if you are not already doing so, in, in the description, I will go ahead and link my TikTok because that is going to give you an option to go ahead and vote on some of the next collections that I use, as well as some of the content I'm creating. Um, some of you that have known me for a while remember I used to do comic book reviews. I used to do some D&D stuff. Um, maybe do like a D&D miniature painting video. Um, I'm kind of contemplating that idea, tossing that around. Um, but I'm going to post that question up on TikTok probably later in the week. So if you're not already following me there, make sure you're following me there and on Instagram. That way you don't ever miss out on any of my content. So for now, everybody, this is Shield Maiden SA signing out. Until next time, fly those geek flags high, everybody.